Hey everybody, I'm Matt with IFA Country Stores. Welcome back for our second class in our beekeeping series. Tonight, I'm coming to you from my backyard. I have a three pound package of bees. I've got five frame nook of bees. It's about 6.30, the sun's getting ready to go down. So I'm gonna get my protective gear on and let's get going on these installations. All right, so here I am. I've got my hives all set up, all ready to go before I ever even got the bees here. Um, I'm wearing my protective gear, my suit, my gloves. So this should be a fun experience. First thing we're gonna do is set that package down out of the way. Take this lid off. Now in this hive, I am using frames from a previous colony. So these frames do have wax on them. They've already been drawn out. They've already been used. So I'm gonna take these and just set these aside for now. Just a few of them. This is gonna give me room to work inside this box when I'm putting my bees in. So I pulled three frames out. I have three frames here, two frames here. The exact layout isn't that critical. So first thing we gotta do is get the queen out of this package. Now we have the queen hanging from this little tab here. The bees are all clustered up around her and around this can of food. First thing we're going to do is we're going to give this a nice little wrap on the ground to drop the bees. Then we're going to use our hive tool to pull that can out and remove our queen. So a little wrap. Pull this can out. And remove that queen. Okay. Now with, using this tab, I can hang my queen over the top of this frame or I can push her into the wax. I'm gonna push her into the wax on this one. So looking at the bottom, I'm gonna hold her away from me like so. I'm gonna pry this cork out that's in there. Now if this doesn't have a candy plug in here, you do wanna put a, a mini marshmallow in there. Just pinch that up, stick it down in there. Don't let that queen come out. So now I'm gonna take this a few more bees running around on me, which is just fine. I'm gonna squish that into that wax. So it stays put just like that. That screen is pointing downwards so the bees can still feed that queen. And then I'm going to take and put that with another frame on top of it to hold those together like so and put that back down in my hive. Now, my queen is right here, which means all the other bees are going to want to go to her. So, let me give it another tap to drop them down again and pull this can out. Now, as I pull that out, they're going to be on here. Now, I'm just going to pour these bees in. Give him a little shake. All right. Now that has the large majority of the bees in that colony. Okay. Put that down in front. I'm going to insert these frames softly down in here. Those bees will move out of the way from the weight of the frames. Do not push them down. Just set them gently. And down in they go. Now this box still has a few bees in it. Roll them out like so. And then I'm going to leave this just on a little bit of an angle here. Next is entrance. You'll notice the bees are out here in front. They're fanning. So they're sticking their rear ends up in the air, flapping their wings. They're doing the same thing up top. What they're doing is seeing that queen pheromone out. So any of these other bees in this box flying around on top of me, they're all gonna smell that pheromone and they're saying the queen's right here. Come on in here, this is our new home. I've got syrup in my feeder already. Um, at this point I can put some pollen patty on here if I have so if I want to. Uh, right now I'm just gonna put the lid on 
and that package is installed. We will want to come back uh, in a day or two to verify that queen has been released out of that cage and that she's out mm -hmm. working with the other bees, uh, starting to lay eggs in there where there's already mm -hmm. comb in there. She's going to start laying eggs really quickly. And that's it. That's how you install a package. All right, so we've got that package installed. Now it's time to move on to the five frame nook. So this five frame nook is an active working hive, uh, nucleus of a hive. You have five frames in here with the bees all over them. I talked about the different stages of brood, the pollen, the honey, everything that's in there. So you definitely wanna be wearing equipment, protective equipment when you're installing a nook. So I'm gonna set this nook right here next to the hive, pull the lid off. This is a telescoping cover. This does have an inner cover in it. So let's pull that off, set that aside. I'm gonna pull a couple of these outside frames out. So as of right now, in here, I have my feeder and one frame. And I do that so the bees have room to work out on both sides as they're building their comb. Now we're gonna mentally label these frames one, two, three, four, five in this nook. When I put them in the hive, I want them to say one, two, three, four, five as well. And the reason I do that is that bees are very particular in where they put stuff, where the brood is, where the honey is, where the pollen is. Uh, that brood is in the middle. They have pollen around it to help feed the brood and honey around that to help insulate the brood. So we want to keep that in that same order so we don't chill any of the brood that's in here so those bees can continue to grow and thrive. So let's open this up. So again, opening this up, have a bunch of bees everywhere. We do want, need to be careful because that queen is running around loose in here. We're gonna reach in here with our hive tool. Over time, this will become an extension of you. I'm gonna pull this outer frame out. This is a good looking. Mm -hmm. All right. You got some brood in here, some honey. We're gonna lay that, set that in first right there. Our second frame will come out. Wanna look and try to find that queen. Take just a minute to do so. Set that in there. Again, you'll notice I'm not moving too quick. I'm taking my time. Mm -hmm. Trying not to pinch bees mm -hmm. or smash bees. Mm -hmm. If I move too suddenly and too fast, the bees get a little agitated. So I'm trying to keep them as calm as possible. Just looking for that queen again. Just one at a time. I'm taking these out, glancing over it. There she is, right there, walking through the hive. Perfect. So we know where our queen is, that's good. So then I can take this last frame out. I know the queen's on that frame there, so I've got to be extra careful putting this in. Not to smash her. And then we can do the same thing with this that we do with the package. Dump those in there. I'm just gonna leave that sitting open right there. Stick these frames inside. See, and I'm not gonna fit this last frame in because that's too tight, which is just fine. Put my inner cover on. I have syrup in that feeder. Uh, if I had pollen patty with me, I'd put pollen patty on right now. But I don't at this point. So we're good to go. Now in a minute, these bees will start coming out the front. Uh, they'll do the th same thing, start fanning their pheromones out from the queen. 
uh, but these two hives are installed ready to go. So we're going to give these a few days, then uh, once they've drawn out more on there, we'll come back and we'll do a mite count and see how many mites are in there. These hives should be good. Uh, they shouldn't have many mites in there at all right now. Uh, if you have an overwintered hive, you know, that's really the time we'll be testing those. So for the bees you're getting this spring, you should be good, but it's always a good idea to take a mite test, do a mite count, uh, just to see where you're at, so you know where you are to start, and then you can monitor that throughout the summer. Uh, so these hives are installed.